iPad glitches are not so unusual. At one time or another, we're all bound to run into some error or bug, or maybe just some Apple weirdness. If this sounds like something you or somebody you know has run into, I'm ready to help. Let's talk about my top seven iPad glitches and their fixes for any iPad. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS. If you find the video useful, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button below. Let's get started. Number one, why won't my iPad turn on? If your iPad won't turn on and the screen remains black, this is most likely caused by a dead battery, but it could be something more serious like corrupted software or a hardware issue. Try this simple fix. Plug your iPad into a power source using the cable that came with your iPad. On an iPad with Face ID, press and hold the sleep wake power button at the top of the device and wait to see if the Apple logo appears after a few seconds. This means the tablet is functioning normally. If nothing happens, move on to this next step. Press and quickly release the volume up button press and quickly release the volume down button. Now press and hold the power button until the device restarts. This may take a little bit of time. If nothing happens, leave your iPad plugged in and charging for the next hour or so. On the iPad with a home button, press and hold the sleep wake button at the same time you're pressing and holding the home button. Keep holding for about 10 seconds or until you see the Apple logo appear. A force restart would, might be the only way for you to reboot your device in cases with a frozen screen or a black screen. If nothing happens, leave the iPad plugged in for the next hour or so and try again. Why isn't my iPad responding to my touch? It could be that the screen is dirty. Try cleaning your screen using a dust-free cloth and be sure to turn off your iPad. Do not use window cleaners or paper towels as they may scratch the device. If you have a screen protector on your iPad, try removing it. Sometimes screen protectors can be a little finicky and cause glitches. Why can't I install the latest iPad OS update? Make sure that your iPad is charged to at least 50%. Low power mode must be off, and if you're using a virtual private network, it must be turned off. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, not cellular. Try rebooting your iPad. Turn your router off and back on. And then let's try resetting your network settings. And to do this, you'll need to come to Settings, General, and then scroll down all the way to the bottom to where it says Reset. Tap on Reset. You'll have many options, but the option you want is Reset Network Settings. The only issue you'll have is that for any Wi-Fi networks, you'll need to add the passwords back in after you reset your network settings. Number four, my Wi-Fi connection isn't working on my iPad. Well, the first thing you might want to try to do is come in and turn off Wi-Fi and then turn it back on. Make sure that your router or cable modem is connected to your internet provider. Update the software for your Wi-Fi or your router. Number five, why is my iPad slow to charge or not charging? To charge your iPad, you must be connected to a power outlet or to a port on your computer using the charging cable that came with your iPad. Number six, how do I stop the battery from draining? Well, one of the first things you can do is turn off 
background app refresh. And to do that, come into the settings area, tap on general, tap on background app refresh, and toggle that switch to off. Another setting that you can change is your auto brightness setting. And to find that setting, come into the settings area, go to accessibility, and then tap on display and text size, scroll to the very bottom, and toggle the auto brightness setting to on. If you have an iPad that has true tone settings, you can help your battery by coming into display and brightness and turning on true tone. And one more setting that helps with battery is auto lock. And to find auto lock, just come into the settings area, tap on display and brightness, scroll down until you see auto lock, tap on auto lock, and then use the settings that are you know most useful for you. I usually set mine at five minutes. Right now, because I'm screen recording, I have it at never, but normally five minutes. Number seven, my iPad is stuck in reboot. How can I fix it? Chances are that your iPad has insufficient battery power to even start up. Plug the iPad into a power source, use the charger that came with your iPad, and plug it directly into the wall. For an iPad with the home button, hold down the power button and home button simultaneously. This prevents the loop cycle and allows the device to charge. Keep holding that until the white Apple logo appears then let the buttons go. For an iPad with Face ID, quickly press and release volume up, then quickly press and release volume down. Now hold down the power button until you see the Apple logo appear, then let go of the button. This maneuver can take some time, so just keep holding on until that white Apple logo appears and then you can release the buttons. These simple tips should help fix any of the iPad glitches you come across. If they don't, then a trip to the Apple Store is in order to help get your iPad back to working condition as quickly as possible. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.